Hi, I'm Marissa, Chief Entomologist at Thanksgiving Point, and today we'll be talking about facing our fears about bugs. It's very common and normal to be afraid of or disgusted by bugs because they're very different from us. They have too many legs, their mouth parts move funny, they change shape while they're growing up, and sometimes they have fangs and stingers which can be painful. So yeah, bugs can be weird and intimidating sometimes. It's important to remember that most bugs aren't aware of the humans around them or they're unconcerned with us. They're just trying to live their lives and survive another day. Now, if we take the time to learn more about them and understand why they do the things that they do, they become a little less scary to us. Let's take roaches for example. Most people are very afraid of roaches um, or they don't like them at all. And that's because we associate them with dirty places and they seem to run straight at us all of a sudden without any reason. But then we learn about how roaches are important as nature's recyclers. They play a vital role in eating decomposing plant and animal materials. And so they break those things down into smaller pieces that things like plants and fungi and bacteria can use. And that cycles those nutrients back into the ecosystem. So that important role that they play is why we tend to find them around our trash cans or in leaf litter or in the dirt. Then we also learn about how they're a nutritious, tasty meal for bigger bugs and reptiles and birds and mammals. And so they have to be fast because they're a prey item. They're kind of like the antelopes or the rabbits of the insect world. They have to run fast, they have to react quickly, and they have to always be suspicious that there might be a predator in the area. And so roaches aren't just hanging out in kitchens waiting for the next human to come by that they can jump at. We are actually scaring them when we show up and turn on a light all of a sudden. While I've always loved bugs like bees and beetles and fuzzy caterpillars, I have not always been a fan of roaches or spiders. I've done my fair share of jumping and screaming when I see them suddenly. So I, I totally get the, the hesitation to fall in love with roaches. But as I pursued my entomology career and I became an animal keeper, I had to take care of several species of cockroach. And so the more I learned about them, the more I cared about their well-being, the less creepy they were until I started to really like them. Now I do think they're adorable. I love their antenna. Uh, it looks like they're curious about the world around them. So they're definitely more endearing to me now. Here at the Butterfly Biosphere, we like to give our guests a chance to hold some of our critters. Having a chance to have a personal interaction with an ambassador animal like this can help redirect misconceptions and alleviate fears. And once those barriers are removed, it gives people a chance to understand and appreciate the roles that these guys play in nature, and also to see that they may be small, but they are significant. So we have some friends on their way over here. They're going to be learning how to face their fears about bugs, so why don't we go meet them? Okay, so our friends are here. This is Joshua and Christine, and they won our Facebook contest. They're a little bit nervous about bugs, but they came here to learn how to face their fears. And we're gonna be meeting with a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Okay, well first we're gonna look at him just a little bit, get to know him so we're not strangers. I know that this is a boy because he's got these two bumps on his head. They kind of use those the way that deer have antlers. So mm. they fight each other for females. <laughs> but do they make noise? They can make noise and he's feeling pretty relaxed so he's probably not gonna hiss for us. But if you see these little tiny dots on his sides, that's where the hissing comes out of. He blows air really quickly oh, really? out of those. Yeah. So that's where insects breathe. They're called spiracles. And um, when hissing cockroaches get scared, they blow the air out of there. Do we think we're ready to hold him? What does it feel like when he's on you? He tickles. He, he does tickles. tickle. So most bugs are very friendly as long as they don't feel like they're about to be eaten. And is this a hard shell just as a protection for him? So that's actually his exoskeleton. His bones are on the outside of his body. Our bones are on the inside, right? So all insects have this hard outer shell to them called the exoskeleton. And so that also means that they grow up differently from us. Um, that's kind of like a suit of armor. It doesn't stretch or grow with them. If they want to get bigger, then they have to take that off. So as insects grow, they have to shed that exoskeleton. All right, so not everyone can be a YouTube star like Joshua here, but if you want some hands-on experience with bugs, come visit us at the Butterfly Biosphere. We do a critter encounter four times a day at 12, 2, 4, and 6, and you can come face your fears about bugs if you have them, or if you just love bugs, come hang out with us and, and hold bugs some more. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about roaches or other bugs, put those in the comments below. And then as always, come on down to the Butterfly Biosphere and visit us. Thanks, see you next time.